What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here. Welcome to our daily show where we discuss the fourth stimulus package update, daily news, pretty much everything going on here in our country, in Washington, D.C., money, investing, the stock market, everything you need to know about on a daily basis. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe down below. I will keep you up to date with everything. Uh, it's free to subscribe. And remember that uh, new videos come out here every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you find these videos helpful, don't forget to hit the like button for us down below. I will keep you up to date. So President Biden has actually got some wins here recently. The physical infrastructure package has been passed here by the House and the Senate and has been sent to his desk. $1.2 trillion, a bipartisan bill passed with both Republicans and Democrats. As you can see here, he has called this physical infrastructure bill a, quote, once in a generation investment after it has now been passed. And both Republicans and Democrats have been wanting to pass this physical infrastructure bill um, for quite some time, many, many years. Roads, bridges, clean drinking water, airports. Um, all sorts of physical infrastructure. It will create millions of new jobs. Americans won't have to sit in endless traffic jams going forward. It will fix crumbling bridges over the course of the next several years and will pump billions of dollars, trillions of dollars into the U.S. economy through the course of jobs and into states, all 50 states going forward. Also, just recently, the U.S. House of Representatives has passed President Biden's stimulus package, the most recent stimulus package, the Build Back Better bill, which now goes to the Senate to be passed, but the Senate plans on changing it significantly with Senator Joe Manchin and, and Kirsten Sinema, dun, 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 as well as Senator Bernie Sanders, who wants to change it significantly and add in several more things for the American people which they work on now, as well as work on a government shutdown bill, the debt limit ceiling bill, and um, to prevent the government from defaulting, as well as several different things on the government's plate. Um, but this bill has passed the House, another win for Biden, but still needs to be passed in the Senate. And we really needed, well, we really need both these packages, and we really needed that physical infrastructure package as well to compete with China, who vastly outspends us on physical infrastructure. Uh, we really haven't had a large physical infrastructure package in many, many years. One of the things that Biden revealed was the CBO, the Congressional Budget Office, which uh, basically scores these packages and reveals um, whether they're fully paid for or not fully paid for, and also if they're paid for, whether they're paid for with, say, taxes or finance with new loans, which is what we call um, deficit spending. The U.S. government is now in debt over $28 trillion. $28 trillion. That's with 12 zeros. 12 zeros. $28 trillion. That's a lot. Everyone on both sides of the political spectrum understands that inflation is a big problem, but we can't stop spending money. And that is how it's, we have got here to where we are today. The government is indefinitely printing more money just to pay the, the interest on the debt that we owe, let alone future current spending. In fact, the price of gold used to be $35 an ounce and is now worth 50 times as much today. Around the globe, decision makers are literally dumping dollars and buying gold instead. But there's a problem. Look at this chart. Gold discoveries have been few and far in between. It takes world-class experts today to find it. As you can see, the blue lines, the number of discoveries, are at crisis mode. Even though the yellow line which is the amount spent on exploration goes up and down, showing that no matter how much is spent, it's just hard to find new deposits. That's why when companies do make a new discovery, their stock share price can rally by 400% in literally a matter of a mere months. Like in the case of Project Ridge Resources, which is U.S. stock symbol PRRSF. 
For over a century, prospectors and geologists have been flocking to British Columbia, Canada, filled with glaciers, snow, and basically freezing cold conditions because of undeniable geological conditions and metallurgical occurrences that happened millions of years ago. These unique moments in the Earth's ancient history have made the Golden Triangle home to some of the Earth's richest minerals on planet Earth. And because the government has spent billions of dollars in infrastructure in projects, it is now economic and profitable to mine the area. Yet only 0.006% has ever been mined. The Golden Triangle includes the largest undeveloped deposit of copper and gold in the world and the highest grade underground gold mine and the most precious metal rich VMS ore body in the world. The chart above belongs to one of the companies that operates in the region, which has rallied from their stock price $3.50 in 2015 to $22 a share in January of 2021. This was only one of several billion dollar companies who started out with nothing more than an indication, a soil sample basically, of rock that contained gold or copper and a visionary executive team. Michael Iverson, for example, was a mining entrepreneur who in the late 1990s and early 2000s co-founded Fortuna Silver Mines, today a U.S. $2.5 billion producer trading on the New York Stock Exchange, who had retired from the business and was shown recent samples from a project called the Holy Grail, and the grades were so high that he said it is nothing like he had seen in his entire 30-plus year career. Right then and there, he started a plan in motion to head Prospect Ridge Resources, U.S. stock symbol PRRSF, a pure play district scale exploration company, which he is convinced will be a mega success story. I want to thank Prospect Ridge Resources for sponsoring this video and letting me share with you why their stock has quadrupled since May alone and what's to come. His conviction level is so high that the grades he is getting for their field work are extraordinary that combined with his groups of investors, associates, and family, and approximately 60% of the company's shares are owned by Mr. Iverson and his affiliates. That is some serious skin in the game. Another company in a similar part of the Golden Triangle rallied from $4 in January 2016 to $14.30 in November 2020. A third one rallied from $0.32 cents a share in November 2008 to $2.13 in August of 2014. A fourth one soared from $0.40 cents a share to over $3 in the past two years. This area is rich with minerals, and if you hit a juicy vein, the results have been world-class at times. This is the reason that Prospect Ridge has already quadrupled in price this year, and they're still releasing more results from soil samples and lab assays. This rare group of gold and copper stocks, which operate in the Golden Triangle, have hit high-grade mineralization and have historically had a plausible chance of becoming producers and what Prospect Ridge Resources, of which roughly 60% is owned by legend Michael Iverson and his group of associates, friends, and family believe that it can drill their deposits to a point that a bigger producer would express interest in a joint venture or a full buyout. And if we can be a part of it at such an early stage before drilling programs even begin, the upside potential is staggering, as we've shown you with other teams in the area. I want to leave you with two things. Go to this website, prrsfnews.com, where you can get immediate access to more information about the stock PRRSF straight from the founder and the management. And number two, I pinned a comment with the major catalyst for this company, and this one is really worth conducting some due diligence on. As you can see, it's already quadrupled, but it is still so under the radar that you're almost the earliest to learn about this company. 
So let me know your thoughts here. It's going to be a very big week here for the Senate dealing with the next stimulus package here as it's in the Senate now. They're going to be doing a lot of negotiations here as well as the government shutdown that they have to deal with or have a government shutdown and the debt limit that they have to deal with as well to prevent the government from literally defaulting. So I will keep you up to date with all of this as well as daily news and everything going on here with our country. So make sure to stay tuned. New videos will be coming out here every day. I will keep you up to date here with everything. You can click here to watch my newest video next. Thanks guys and I will see you in the next video.